Today we're going to answer a subscriber question from Rod Huddleston and he's asked the question what sort of tools do I carry on the bike? Uh, it's a, actually a really good question and one I wouldn't have thought of because I just assume everybody carries the same sort of things. Now I don't have the luxury of having a wife that can pick me up uh, wherever I break down. She drives but she doesn't like driving so it's not something I have an option of. So I have to get myself home. In truth I carry a lot more than I did at the beginning and I've developed that through incidents that have happened and greater awareness of what can happen. So I'll take you through exactly what I carry and the first thing you'll see are spare tubes. Now spare tubes I always carry two if possible because if you're going to get one puncher you could get two. Uh, it's important to make sure you, that you buy the right tubes because the valve stem length can differ. You can have longer valve lengths depending on the type of the wheel and obviously you need to make sure you've got the right pump for the type of valve that you're using. Now if you're going to carry tubes you're going to need a pump and uh, I, I just carry these small pumps, uh, very very powerful and uh, I think this one came free from British Cycling probably with my membership originally but uh, this sort of thing you can easily fit in the back pocket or you can fit it onto the bike uh, I, I choose to fit it onto the bike I have enough things to carry now spare tubes are all very well but it's feasible you could get more than two punctures so it's very important that you carry a puncture kit now puncture kits are dirt cheap. I prefer the type with the glue. Um, very very simple. You know, you've got patches, you've got glue and within a few minutes you can be up and running. Some people may think it's an overkill having two tubes and a puncture kit but let me tell you on the canal towpath a few years ago I actually had eight punctures in two tyres. I was only carrying one spare tube because it was a 29er and it was quite a big tube but uh, I used that, that punctured again I used all my patches and uh, still it punctured again some kindly cyclist stopped and he had the uh, self-adhesive patches but they just didn't last in the end I started out on my 8 mile walk home uh, until a very kindly young triathlete lady was passing by and she went out of her way to take me home which I'll never forget, it's very kind of her. However you can't rely on that sort of thing happening. If we're going to repair a puncture we're going to need to get the tyre off so we need a very simple pair of tyre levers. Another essential to carry is the multi-tool. This has obviously got all the correct allen keys on it, uh, it's got the it's got flathead screwdriver and what have you. This was a free one that came with my mountain bike. It is a bit chunky. I did have a superb tiny one in little pouch, very light, uh, but I made a mistake of leaving the bag open once I'd used it, so I lost it. Uh, so that's that's another good tip. If you take anything out of your bag, make sure you close your bag again afterwards. But yeah, multi-tool essential. Now here's something that is a little bit unusual for many cyclists to carry, and that's a chain breaker. This is a nice, neat little chain breaker. It's quite small, as you can see. Uh, has the advantage of having that metal clip and that allows you to hold the loose ends of the chain together so that the derailleur spring doesn't pull them apart while you're trying to put it together and uh, I'm not going to go into how a chain breaker works because you can look at that uh, on the internet for yourselves. The beauty of the chain breaker is that if you do have a broken chain you can remove the unnecessary links and then just put in a quick link and here is the quick link that we're talking about and all they do is slip in, link together and you're back on the road again. If you decide to buy a quick link uh, one thing to make sure of is that you get the right one because they are sized uh, according to the number of uh, sprockets you've got. 
So for example, you'll see on them either nine speed, 11 speed. Uh, so what you do simply to find that out is just count the number of sprockets on your rear wheel and if there are 11 it's 11 speed, if it's 9 it's 9 speed. I've never had a chain brake touch wood uh, but it could happen and if it does happen it's game over, you've got no way of getting back. Although you may never suffer a broken chain there is another reason for carrying a chain breaker. And this is something that is more likely to happen and has actually happened to me. And that is the rear derailleur hanger bracket breaking. Now if that breaks, it's another game over situation. The reasons it could break are, are simple. It could get knocked, you could drop your bike, it, it could have been bent over time and weaken and break. Some people do carry a spare derailleur hanger with them. But I don't do that. But what I do know, I can actually make my bike into a fixed gear bike by removing the chain and bypassing the rear derailleur that's broken and join the chain together. And I'd put that on a, a fairly easy to use gear ratio. And that would get me home. So another good reason for carrying this very simple tool. Now I keep that tool wrapped up in this. And uh, it's not just a piece of rubber for storing the chain breaker. It's actually a piece of tyre with the metal bead removed. This allows me to repair a split in the tyre should that happen. Now some people talk about carrying a gel wrapper. Some people talk about a £20 note, one of the plastic ones. Uh, I have far better use for £20 notes, so a piece of old tyre does me. I keep my chain breaker in it, keeps it all neat and tidy, and I'm prepared for any eventuality. I like to think it's a bit like insurance, and that's if I've got it, I'm not going to use it, but if I haven't got it, I'll probably need it. And here's another useful device, and that's the cable tie. But I carry a couple of these, it might be a uh, mud card comes loose, it, it could be anything. But a couple of these cable ties, doesn't take up much space, nice and simple to use, and they're there in an emergency. And the final thing I keep in my bag is this. It's uh, a laminated piece of paper, and it contains my name, address, age, uh, blood group, any medication I happen to be on, any allergies I have, and also a contact number for my next of kin. Now that's important if I find I do have an accident and I'm unconscious or whatever, the police hopefully will find that in my bag and they'll know who I am, they can treat me immediately without any fear, give me the right blood if I need it and so on. You might think it's over the top, but uh, for the sake of carrying that piece of paper, I think it's pretty sensible. There's another safety device that's worth knowing about, and I must admit, until I did my first aid course, I didn't know about it. But an ambulance man there told me of this function on the mobile phone, and that is that when you turn your phone on and you get your opening screen, if you click on emergency, it'll come up here with emergency information. And if you click on emergency information, that will open up and it has all the information concerning you. So we've got uh, address, blood type, any allergies, me medications, are you an organ donor and so on. So I would suggest that you get your mobile out if you don't know about this already and make sure you fill that in because that's the first thing an emergency service worker will look for could mean the difference between life and death frankly if you're badly injured at least somebody knows if you're allergic it, what your medication is what your blood group is and so on another invaluable app I have on my phone is what three words now I'm sure many of you will have heard of this and use it but just in case you haven't I'll explain it briefly to you basically the developers of this app have divided up the world into three meter squares and each three meter squares has been given 
three, a three word name. They're just random words. But if, for example, here you can see a road, it's in the middle of nowhere, and maybe I've had an accident or come off my bike, or if I'm with a group of riders and there's been an accident, I need to call an ambulance to that exact spot. And that's very difficult when you're in the middle of nowhere. So all you need to do is switch on that app. It will pinpoint where you are, tell you the three words, which you can pass to emergency services. And many emergency services, police, ambulance, fire, are all using this system now. So it's free, there's no reason not to use it, and I would urge you to have it. It's also really useful if you're arranging to meet people for a ride. You can give them those three words, they can enter them, and it will tell them where they are. It's also quite good if you, like me, sometimes forget where you've parked your car. So uh, I'd recommend it. So that's what I carry in my bag, so let's look at the bag. I have very simply the Topic. This is a small version. You can get everything in there, it's a tight squeeze, but it's not as if you're going in, in and out of it all the time. As I said, make sure that when you've finished, you close the thing up, because that's why you lose your tools like I did. This one has got a, a little loop at the back, so you can put your light on it. Um, I prefer this type because they have the loose straps and these just go around your saddle and that one goes around the seat post. I have used the type that have got the solid plastic clamp that goes around your saddle. I, I've never got on very well with those. Um, this is quieter, you don't get any rattles. Um, it's nice and light. The other thing I think is, is worth mentioning as well is if you've got all this kit, make sure you help other people too. I When I have my eight bunches, uh, it was amazing how many cyclists asked me if I was okay. It's always good to look out for each other and uh, help if you can. So having the right kit, make sure you can do that. So I hope that's been of use. I hope it's of interest. Uh, and I hope, Rob, that it's answered your question. Until next time, thanks very much for watching and uh, talk to you soon.